hello and welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by my name is Teresa and I go by the name of blue living beauty because I like to talk about all things beauty makeup skincare clothing um, life <laughs> anything that we do to enhance our beauty on the outside even though we know beauty lies within so if you're interested Please keep on watching. Today I'm going to share um, a couple Dior products with you. Um, before the VIB sale, I picked up the Dior Backstage in 4.5N. But during the sale, I picked up the Forever 24-Hour Wear High Protection Skin Caring Foundation with Sunscreen, also in 45 um, in the past, the only um, Dior foundation I would have used is this Backstage, which is lovely. And this is also in the 4.5 in, but um, this is done. <laughs> this has been, this was, um, actually this is the 4.5 W, but I have transitioned to the N because I think my skin is more neutral. Now, I've already prepped my skin. I put on some color corrector. I used the Fenty and I used the Charlotte Tilbury um, brow pencil today, brow cheat. This um, is the first time I've used this. I did pick this up in the sale. It's not a new product, but it's new to me. So let's get into this demo. So I am going somewhere. So I am going to still try to see how this is going to work because I want to try the airbrush on one side and the foundation on the other side. So I'm going to use my Sonia G Jumbo Base and I'm going to shake that up a bit. Spray it. A little on and I did prime my skin also with the Sicily primer I really love this I have been wearing it for the last couple weeks and I just like the light color the transition um not the transition what's the word just the skin like effect that it has and you can build it up i only use usually use one spray and i usually use that one spray for both sides it just evens out your skin Mix everything. Look even and natural. So for this, to me, I feel like this is a little bit heavier foundation. It's very thick. You only need a little bit. And I'm going to use my same brush. And I'm expecting not to be able to tell a whole lot, but we're going to see. This foundation, okay, and it's not considered to be, it doesn't say matte, so. I don't want a heavy, heavy beat, but you can already see the luminous, and I hope, I mean, see if this makes a difference. Let me move my ring light. You can see that this side is a little more, has the glow going on, just a little bit more than that side. 
I'm going to use my skin corrector, which is 4.5 in as well. And um, I like this concealer. The only thing I would say, it, it takes a bit of time to dry down to me. So I'm gonna let that sit while I talk about a couple of the other Dior products that I've picked up. One is the Colors Contour Couture in 279. This is the five eyeshadow palette and this is denim. Yes, this is denim. This is beautiful. I think I'm going to play around in this one a little bit today. And then this is a new one, and I do believe it's a part of the holiday collection. And this is the 739. House of Dreams. And this is the one with the silver in the middle. And then they have another one that has like a gold center. I've been using the House of Dreams all week and it's absolutely lovely. I really enjoy that. So I'm going to take my um, BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy um, contouring brush and blend out my concealer. So, how have you guys been doing? I hope you are having a wonderful Saturday. We are getting ready to go to the olive oil, what is it called? Olive oil company, and they sell different olive oils, um, flavored olive oils, cooking oils. It's, it's like a winery for olive oil. <laughs> so, yeah, I do believe it's just called the Olive Oil Company. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and play around with this. Let me remove these brushes. I think before I do that, I am going to do a dusting all over my face with this Dior. Um, what is this? Um, this is 4N, and this is your the Backstage Face and Body um, Powder. And I am going to use this brush I died for and never use, <laughs> this Le Mer brush. And I'm just going to go all over my face with it. I'm not sure why that TV got to be so loud. But I hope you guys can't hear it. Okay. Stick this over here. No, let's see. So, I don't want to be too, too bright. I'm going to go in with 
this spoon color. I'll use this mirror because it's closer. I'm just going to do a little bit in my crease and across my eyelid. And I am going to take this Shantakai brush, this little flat brush. That way I can try to just do the inner. That's pretty. See if I can just blend that together. Do a tad bit more on the outer corner. Go back in. I'm going to take this other, I think this is a foundation brush, so that's not going to work. So I'm not going to use that. This is the, this is another Lemire brush that I've had that I don't use. It's so dense for um, foundation. I am going to use this BK Beauty. Angie Hot and Flashy um, 507 for the bronzer. Which is 06 Amber. I'm going to take some of this bronzer and just sweep it across my eyelid. Don't let me. I let's see if I have a high pencil. I do not. I don't think I have a Dior eye pencil. So I am going to use this Patrick Ta. 
and this is in deep bronze. I'm just going to put that there. I'm going to go like under the eye and in the waterline and under and just a little bit in the corner. This pencil is so creamy and smooth. I don't use it enough. Let's see if I can. Nope. Can't reach my mascara, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. And this is a Dior product I've had for a while, and this is one of the illuminators that she came out. They they came out with over the summer, and this is the um, 06 Golden Coral. And I'm gonna just take my same brush. And I see that. Very light, very natural. And I believe I picked this up from Dior, and this is three fourteen. Rouge Dior and this is one of your orangey nudes every day everyday color very It is so creamy. It's so comfortable. It is a matte. And I love it. So, let me um, fix this eyebrow swipe off. I'm not going to put any... powder on it. Just want to see how the pencil works. So, thank you for stopping by my video. I hope you would like, subscribe, and share. And what do you think? Can you tell that I have two different formulas of Dior foundation on? Not really. They feel the same. They are the same color. And um, I love both of them. So, I recommend both of them. If you want to try out one of Dior's um, foundation, just choose which one you would think you would be more comfortable with. This one is more a little bit more glowy and luminous easy to use. It is a radiance foundation and this one is self-caring with sunscreen 24 hours. Very comfortable. I love both of them. I love all Dior. If you want to check out a brand Dior, you won't be disappointed. Thank you. Please share like and subscribe and we'll see you next time bye bye for now